Welcome. Okay, the the fault we're looking at here is a, a Toshiba. Um, the model number is in the description, but this generally applies to quite a lot of the models. Uh, the fault is this: you have a black screen. The computer appears to be switching on. You hear the fans going. You see the lights coming on, but nothing on the screen. Uh, you've tried all the usual things that have been suggested on the internet being, first of all, connect with a cable, an HDMI cable to your television. Uh, no success there. You've removed the battery, you've removed the power, uh, you've held the power button down um, for 30 seconds, still no joy. Uh, so here we go, let's resolve this by actually manually resetting the CMOS. Now before we begin, uh, we're going to run through this fairly quickly, so... Uh, whatever language that you are watching in, you you may want to hit the subtitles and uh, hit pause and play as we go through this. We're going to do this quite quickly. Um, if you have no experience working inside computers, we do advise uh, referring this particular job to uh, a professional who's familiar with the workings of the inside of a computer. You could end up causing uh, serious damage if this is uh, done incorrectly. Okay, so we're going to reset the the CMOS on this uh, Toshiba laptop that we have here uh, because it's got a black screen. We're getting no display whatsoever. Uh, okay, first of all, let's remove the service cover from the base of the machine. Some models may require uh, full strip down in order to get into to the the back of the machine. Um, we're going to remove the, the two modules of memory, the two mod the, the RAM modules are coming out of there. Uh, again, if you're not experienced with this, you've got to watch your static, you've really got to watch what you're doing here. The advice says refer to a professional if you're not sure exactly what you're doing here. Uh, let's get the RAM out of the computer, the memory's out of there. Underneath the bottom module, uh, you're most likely you're going to find a sticker. Uh, an anti-static sticker and it'll have details on it like uh, serial number and such like. Uh, let's get that sticker out of there. You've got to be very careful here um, to get the sticker out very, very carefully. So you may have to use a heat gun or a hairdryer gently, very gently. We're looking at the back of the motherboard here. Uh, so very carefully get that sticker out of there without leaving anything uh, left behind. Now, underneath the sticker, we're going to find the two pins, or not pins, but we're going to find the two, uh, underneath the motherboard, the two posts, which is to jump the CMOS. Um, you will see here the, the letters J, or J, uh, J CMOS uh, are the letters you're looking for. And you'll see two posts side by side. Now, here are the instructions to, to master reset the CMOS on the computer, which will bring it back to life um, if the previous faults are as described. Um, what we're going to do, let's get the computer sitting up on its side. So you've got no battery in there. Uh, the, the RAM's out, obviously, otherwise we wouldn't see this. Um, and we're going to connect the power to the computer, the power cable. Let's get the power cable in there and we're going to switch the power on. So press the power button on. Um, the fans may or may not spin. More likely they will start to spin and you'll hear some kind of life, but nothing will happen. Um, using a flathead screwdriver, we're going to short out, we're actually going to short out the two posts. So on the J CMOS, uh, put a flathead screwdriver across both pins and hold them onto the pins. Um, generally, I'd say about 15 seconds should do it. That's with the power, with the fans going. Now, nothing is going to happen here. You're not going to see anything miraculously uh, springing to life at this stage. Nothing will happen. Um, but what you have just done is shorted the BIOS or the CMOS on the machine. Once you've done that, uh, disconnect the mains, get the RAM back in there, watching your static, get the, 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 the RAM modules back in place, uh, reconnect to the mains and power up. When you do power up, immediately hit F2, continuously tapping F2, uh, which will take you into the BIOS settings. Now, the first message you most, if you've been successful with the, the reset here, the message you're likely to see is that the RTC uh, battery is low. 
uh, therefore the date and time is out and you're going to have to reset that. Fine, carry on. Uh, go in and reset your date and time in the BIOS uh, as you would with a, a brand new board in the olden days. Um, reset the, the date and time. Uh, save and exit. Um, usually F10. Uh, come out of there and reboot. And you should see Windows come back around and you should be able to launch the computer uh, from there. It will bring it back to life. The fact that it's lit up and told you RTC battery is low is, is a plus because beforehand all we had was a black screen. Now once this is done, this is quite important. Um, once you've got Windows loaded, you may have to reformat. Depends on the, the, the health of the drive afterwards. Um, but once we're back in business, we're back on Windows, the first thing to do here to prevent this happening again is to get onto Toshiba Support. So simply search on Google Toshiba Support UK or whatever uh, locality or nationality or whatever country you're watching in. Uh, search for Toshiba Support. Enter in the serial number for your computer and look for updates. Uh, downloads and updates and take the latest version of the BIOS because it's likely you've got an old version of the BIOS and having done the reset it's probably knocked it back to factory and such like so uh, take the update for the BIOS uh, and we're all good uh, so there we go we brought the thing back to life it was a dead unit uh, and we're back to life now um, so there we are. Many, many thanks for watching. As always, um, to make it worthwhile making these videos in the, in the first place, all we ask that you you click two things. Uh, hit the like button on the video. Uh, there's a wee thumbs up thing. And as they all say, just hit wherever it is. It might be up there or down there. Hit, uh, hit subscribe as well. It does help and it makes work uh, making these videos worthwhile. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Computroon on Facebook and online at www.computroon.co.uk.